joined us into Balin now. The men have just arrived and it's gone four o'clock, which means I'll probably only get about 30 minutes over here and I have to go back home. I mean, if I don't mind, we get our silage in second cut in nice and dry, which is the main thing. I've brought over paint for the girls. Well, probably Nicole or Sophia to paint the bales as I do them. I hadn't time to bring the girls over with me because they're in the middle of doing another job and I only have 30 minutes. And there's no point in making late because I'll still not get finished. It's going to be at least midnight tonight, one o'clock, I'd say, before I get all these bales stuck in because it looks like there's a nice amount of bales. And judging by how far he's went around the field before he got a bale, it looks quite good. the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so I can make a better me better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold shape find Anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything.
like that. That's the last two bales in. It's now just gone a quarter past 11 and thankfully good lights here and you're fit to see me on the camera yet but yes it's great to get it all in and it's nice and dry you can see the drone up there it's still flying we just actually landed here now and we are talking and nicole i have to hand it to her she's a great girl she's been over there and we couldn't even get her to go home i had to actually ring her mother and tell her mother to come over and just pick the girl up and take her home because it was getting too late. It was 10 o'clock and she was painting away at all the bales and she was enjoying it. She likes to finish a job when she starts it. I'm not going to see where she gets that from, but she likes to finish a job when she starts it. And her sister Sophia was over helping her for a while as well. Um, but Nicole just really likes that type of thing and she doesn't mind putting in the hours, but she's still very young. And she's got plenty of time later on in her life to put them hours in. Bedtime is bedtime. So she went home there about 10 o'clock she has everything painted bar the last 20 bales and she'll probably be over in the morning i know the sort of her she'll be over early in the morning mad to get finished in that but it does help it does keep the crows away and i did see plenty of crows and i did peck a few holes in the bales already there's nothing as provoking when you're drawing in bales to see a couple of crows or gray crows they're the main ones on top of your bales pulling at your bales around you when you're trying to get them in oh they are a nightmare of a thing but anyway tomorrow We'll pick it up and we'll give you a better look at how things turned out. Now, we're back over. We'll have a look at the bales in a second. It's about 12, 13 days later. Two weeks later. And the first thing I want to show you is our calves. Well, you remember in the last one we mentioned about the summer scour syndrome that they had? Well, I'm pleased to say, and I said at the end of the other video anyway, um, that they're fine. Absolutely back to full health. Every calf is eaten. The way it should there's the youngest calf there 991 they're all together now um, and hopefully in the next couple of months they'll equal out in size as well the big white one there is obviously by far the oldest calf that's all it is just difference in age so a good outcome there it's always a nice feeling when you come over look your cattle and they're healthy so it's just gone eight o'clock and i'm finished up ready to go home now for breakfast beforehand i want to show you the job the girl's done jesus the morning sun is strong there's a hell of a layer of the bales, but <laughs> the girls have all the bales painted. As you can see them there, and yeah, they put a lot of paint onto them. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. I said to the girls, a few stripes here and there, but uh, yeah, they got carried away a bit. But look at, they have the job done, and it looks good. But, unfortunately, the paint isn't fully working this time. I don't know why. This is the problem we have. See the picking? And that's hateful. It seems to be the only one there at the front so far. Everything else looks fine. Just that one. Okay, well it's just that one at the front. Actually, now when I do say it, we painted all these that night. Well, I didn't. Nicole painted all these that night when we were taking them in. But these ones here at the front, I put in a little later. And they weren't painted that night. They weren't painted till about 11 o'clock the following morning when she came over and she painted the last 20. And that, I wonder, could be the cause of what happened here. But we'll fix that now in a wee while when we see it. The rest of them look good. Um, what we can do is sometimes we get over to this tree, we tie a bit of that electrical protection tape. You know that caution tape that you put on the ground, the yellow tape, in case you have electrical cables and things. Sometimes we tie it to that branch bring it over to a post and zigzag it across and that does keep them away they're afraid of that but we mightn't have to do that there's a squirrel there you go he's gone up there i definitely seen him looked like a red squirrel funny enough which i'm glad to see i don't particularly die about the gray ones but the red ones i know there's plenty of squirrels around here plenty of chestnut trees and they flourish on them and that's good healthy one there now you can see the nut is starting to come out now in all of them it's covered in them actually so They'll be horsing into them now over the next few days. You'll come over here early in the morning or really late at night. They seem to be more active. And I know there definitely is a squirrel in that one there, which is great to see. So many bales did we have? Well, we cut around about eight hectares and we had 138 bales. That's not bad. I'm happy with that. I didn't expect we'd get as many bales as that. We used to cut over here as well last year when we were doing our second cut. We would have cut this field here as well. Another paddock further over along the road, but we didn't bother this time. We just went with these two fields. As I said before, we have plenty of fodder. We don't need to worry too much about that. And we'll get a third cut as well. Here, 
you can see it's been two weeks grass is coming back nicely the back field got fertilizer um, about six seven days after it was cut it rained straight after that fertilizer was put on just nicely got washed into the ground this has got no fertilizer at all um it's too dry now i can't spread fertilizer with them and it's just way too dry and today's wednesday the 10th of august so it's given the next five to six days really hot weather really hot weather um over 25 degrees so there's no point in putting fertilizer on it it'll be laying on top of the ground getting scorched by the sun so we're going to wait till we know there's a little bit of rain coming and then we'll give it a small, just a light dusting over before the rain comes and that'll get washed through into the ground and get working. As I say, we don't want a big third cut. Look, if we've got 80 bales in the third cut, I'd be over the moon because that'll fill up this whole area over there and right down to the concrete here. And there's plenty of place to put them. That's a good thing about there. There's loads of place to put bales. And if we wanted to put three times the amount of bales there, we could stack them on top of other if we wanted to. Um, that option is there. Some people ask, Adrian, would you not use your loader on your tractor to bring in your bales? Well... The loader's off the tractor at the minute, but it's well on. Um, it's all put back together again. I've been working on it the last few nights and working on the quad as well. The quad is well on now, so it is. All the painting is done. It's just assembly. The engine's coming back tomorrow, today or tomorrow, the engine's coming back after a full top end rebuild. We'll talk about that when it's done, but that's going to be all coming up now very shortly. There's going to be quite a busy time just getting everything put back together and working. And I'm excited to see the tractor fully finished because the bonnets are on now. And it does, it looks, it looks mint. It looks absolutely mint. Hopefully we'll get a bit of rain. I know, I don't want to say it too loudly. This ground is hard as iron. And I know down the country further, people are in worse conditions because it really is dry. They have dry soil anyway, and they're really, really struggling now. And the UK is getting a hell of a heat wave I see there as well. I was the funky farmer there the other day. And he was showing his grazing and fields just were look like they were completely scorched out of it. And by the way, when we do mention the funky farmer, I have to take my hat off that man. After what he's been through there lately, any of you follow know what I'm talking about. But anything he's going through, he just keeps soldiering on and he's an absolute inspiration to a lot of people watching. I hope he realises that and we wish him the very, very best because he's a strong man, he's a strong-willed man and I've no doubt that man will go on to make a full recovery. I'm going home to start my day's work. Till the next one, we'll talk to you again.